Mr. Harry, a 62-year-old plumber, has been having fatigue and shortness of breath for the past two months. His symptoms have gradually worsened and now he has shortness of breath even at rest. He went to his GP Dr. Kiran, who found no evidence of respiratory issue. Dr. Kiran then referred Mr. Harry to Dr. Raghu, senior cardiologist at Astor Prime. Dr. Raghu recommended a series of tests like ECG and ECHO and found that Mr. Harry had right mitral stenosis with mild pulmonary hypertension. Dr. Raghu recommended minimally invasive mitral valvuloplasty for treating mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is the narrowing of the opening of the mitral valve which limits the flow of the blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle. It is usually a consequence of rheumatic fever and is very common in developing countries. Percutaneous balloon valvuloplasty is a novel technique of opening the stenosed mitral valves. Untreated mitral stenosis can lead to left atrial enlargement, atrial fibrillation and left atrial thrombosis. Stenosed mitral valves can be opened by surgical commissurectomy or percutaneous balloon valvuloplasty. Patient selection for balloon valvotomy relies on the structural information about mitral valve and subvalvular apparatus obtained using transesophageal echocardiography. Patient with moderate or severe mitral stenosis with a valve area less than 1.5 cm2 are usually indicated for this procedure. Patients with pre-existing significant mitral regurgitation and left atrial thrombus are contraindicated for this procedure. Wilkins scoring system is the echocardiographic score which can predict the success of mitral balloon valvuloplasty based on valve structure. Score less than 8 have better prognosis than scores of greater than 8. In this procedure, first, the inner balloon is introduced percutaneously into the femoral vein using a catheter. Then, the catheter is guided to the right atrium and passed across the atrial septum. Next, the balloon is positioned across the stenosed mitral valve and finally, the balloon is inflated and the narrowed mitral valve is widened. Immediate and long-term results of balloon valvuloplasty are similar to those with surgical valvotomy. Moreover, balloon valvuloplasty can be repeated if commissural resinosis occurs. Mr. Harry was monitored in the recovery unit for one day after which he was given home care instructions and was discharged. Mr. Harry is now able to move around freely and continue working efficiently without any shortness of breath or fatigue. Dr. C. Raghu at Astor Prime Hospital is the best doctor to get your heart disease treated. At Astor Prime, we have facilities such as transthoracic and transosophageal echocardiography. Philips Cath Lab system which is the best in the world. 24 by 7 cath lab and a highly trained healthcare team. You could contact Asta Prime by direct appointment, through video consultation or through website.